Hi everyone, this is the Santorini Dave Guide to Where to Stay in Mykonos. We're going to show you the island's best beaches, towns, and places to stay. Let's get right into it. When deciding where to stay in Mykonos, the big questions visitors need to consider is whether to stay in Mykonos town, the center of most nightlife, shopping, and restaurants, or near one of the island's many great beaches. One popular approach is to stay in Mykonos town and to make day trips to beaches, then return to town in the late afternoon to enjoy the evening when Mykonos town really comes alive. For a quieter, more secluded stay, you'll likely want to select a location by the beach. Most of the island's best hotels are located at the beaches, though the best partying is in Mykonos town, with its countless bars and nightclubs. Pretty much every developed beach on Mykonos is perfect for a romantic holiday. Some great choices for families include Ornos Beach and Platis Yalos Beach. Now, everything featured in this video is explained in greater depth at SantoriniDave.com. Plus, you'll find links to our other detailed videos about all things Mykonos in the description below. When determining which part of the island to stay in, consider whether you're planning to use public buses, taxis, or a rental vehicle to get around. During summer, buses run regularly and late to and from the main beaches in Mykonos town, so it's easy to stay in one spot and enjoy the other. Buses on Mykonos are cheap, comfortable, and reliable. Taxis are another option, but there are only 30 of them on the island, and waits can be long. Reserve in advance to save some time. Your hotel can also arrange private transfers for you, a costly but convenient option, while some hotels provide complimentary shuttles to and from Mykonos town. The airport is located three kilometers from Mykonos town. To get from the airport to your hotel, it's always a good idea to arrange for private transfer through your hotel or a pre-booked service like welcome pickups, as waiting in a long queue for a taxi during high season can be time consuming and frustrating. If you've pre-arranged a ride, your driver will be waiting for you outside the arrivals hall with a sign with your name on it. The cost is only slightly more than a taxi. Visitors arriving on ferries from Athens or other islands arrive at the Tourlos Ferry Port, also called the New Port, which is near Mykonos town, but not within walking distance. The quickest and easiest way to get to the center of town from the ferry port is by using the sea bus, a shuttle boat that only costs a few euros. The sea bus takes you from the ferry terminal to a choice of two locations in town. One at the Old Port, which includes the Old Port bus station with routes to beaches in the east, and the other in the center of Mykonos Town Harbor near the Central Square. If you're needing to get to the Fabrica bus station in Mykonos Town, then you'll want to take the public bus from the ferry terminal instead of the sea bus. Now let's talk about Mykonos Town, also known as Hora. Mykonos Town features the island's greatest concentration of hotels and accommodation, though these tend to be budget to moderate boutique hotels with only a few luxury options. The island capital is a charming tangle of narrow, pedestrian-only streets, which are a real pleasure to get lost in. The historic core is densely packed with guest houses, smaller hotels, restaurants, and bars. Tavernas dot the waterfront, and there are two bona fide shopping streets lined with local and international fashion boutiques, art galleries, and souvenir shops. The little Venice area of Mykonos town is a dense cluster of waterside bars and a favorite gathering place at sunset, as are the picturesque Cycladic windmills. There are also a couple of worthwhile museums and an open-air cinema that add to the town's attractions. Several bus routes connect Mykonos town to the island's beaches and interior villages. Here are some of the best hotels in Mykonos town. Belvedere Hotel is a refined luxury hotel with an organic spa, exceptional dining and drink options, and a convenient location near the windmills, the old port, and the island's best shopping and nightlife. Semeli Hotel is a stylish, family-friendly, five-star hotel with two pools, fantastic dining, and a spa. Semeli is just a three-minute walk from Mykonos' famous nightlife, dining, and attractions. Mykonos Theoxenia is a historic seafront hotel near the Mykonos windmills in Little Venice, featuring a gorgeous infinity pool. It feels quiet and secluded for being so central, just steps away from the center of Mykonos town. Cavo Tagu is one of the top luxury hotels on Mykonos that sits on a rise between the two ports where you can watch the ferries and cruise ships come and go throughout the day and fabulous sunsets at night. Mykonos town is a 10-minute walk away, plus there's a free shuttle bus. 
Myconian Corali is a five-star hotel with a panoramic sea view infinity pool, a superb Greek and Mediterranean restaurant, and a thalassotherapy spa. It's about a 10-minute walk downhill to Mykonos town, and guests of Corali have access to facilities of all eight other Myconian collection properties on the island. You can find more great Mykonos town hotels, as well as recommended restaurants, things to do, and detailed travel guides across our channel and on our website. Moving on to beautiful Ornos Beach, just 3.4 kilometers south of Mykonos town, Ornos Beach is one of the busiest beaches on the island. The streets around it are dotted with luxury resorts and boutique hotels, and its white sand is densely lined with sun loungers. Half a dozen or so seafood restaurants are found immediately next to the beach, with a few more in the near vicinity. Ornos features a sheltered bay, and the shallow, calm water is popular with families. There are a lot of buses to and from Mykonos town, and some of them continue on to nearby Ayos Ioannis Beach. Ornos is also the starting point for the Mykonos water taxi to the island's southern beaches of Platis Yalos, Paraga, Paradise, Super Paradise, Agrari, and Elia. Here are some of the best hotels in the Ornos Beach area. Kavodos Mykonos is one of the more magical hotels on Mykonos, set on beautiful Ornos Bay with stunning views of the surrounding water and hills. There's a large pool and a small private beach. The setting is incredibly romantic, and there are a handful of restaurants a short walk away. Mykonos Blanc is a family-friendly, small dog-friendly luxury hotel with a dazzling pool, full-service spa, and an upscale beach club restaurant. Mykonos Blanc is one of only a handful of hotels on the island with wheelchair-accessible rooms and an elevator. The hotel is surrounded by restaurants and beach clubs, and it's just a short walk from the bus to Mykonos Town or the water taxi to the southern beaches. They also provide complimentary airport and port transfers. Kensho Ornos is a luxury boutique getaway with two pools, a rooftop jacuzzi, and an amazing culinary program. One of the highlights here is the hotel's restaurant offering Greek and Cretan gastronomy experiences during dinner, casual Greek dining throughout the day, and an inspired cocktail bar and wine list. Santa Marina is one of the largest and most luxurious resorts on Mykonos. One of the best choices on Mykonos for families, it features a beautiful semi-private beach and small playground. The restaurants of Ornos are a short walk away, and there's a regular free shuttle into Mykonos town. Platis Yalos is the best beach on Mykonos for a mix of restaurants, low-key nightlife, hotels, and good sand, located four kilometers south of Mykonos town. It's got something for everyone. Families come here for the calm waters and white sand, the young, trendy crowd heads for the hip beach bars, and everyone comes here to eat. The beach is lined with back-to-back restaurants, serving everything from Greek standards and seafood to sophisticated fusion. It's also the main water sports beach in Mykonos, with kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, wakeboarding, and flyboarding on offer. Platis Yalos has excellent bus connections to Mykonos town and hourly water taxi service to other south coast beaches in high season. Numerous hotels and villas surround the beach. Here are some of our favorites. Patasso's Beach Resort is a family-friendly hotel with a small private beach, a large saltwater pool and jacuzzi, and a spa with the lasso therapy. It's just a two-minute walk to Platis Yalos Beach and a 12-minute walk to Pisaru Beach, plus the bus to Mykonos Town is right in front of the hotel. Bronco is a fashionable beachfront luxury hotel offering a dreamy pool and beach spa on the widest part of Platis Yalos Beach. With a fantastic location, the pool, restaurant, and all rooms look out over the beach where DJs spin music daily. The bus to Mykonos Town and the water taxi are both only a few minutes walk away. Myconian Ambassador is just a short walk to the beach and bus stop. Situated on a steep hill, the higher rooms have some of the best views on Mykonos. The hotel also boasts a fantastic pool and a thalassotherapy spa. Nisaki Boutique is a family-friendly hotel right on the water with four saltwater pools and spacious rooms and suites. Nisaki is well located within a short walk to both Platis Yalos and Pisaru beaches. Studded with beach umbrellas, Ayos Ioannis is a narrow, sandy crescent on Mykonos' west coast, just past Ornos Beach, and is a favorite sunset-watching spot. There's a popular beach club restaurant, 
and a couple of boutique hotels on the hillside overlooking the Aegean. From Ios Ioannis, it's a 10-minute walk past the church and around the headland to the small, sheltered, and less crowded cove of Kapari Beach. The best hotels in this area are Katikias Mykonos, an adults-only hotel offering two infinity pools, a lavish spa, and breathtaking sea views over the beach toward Delos Island. With a 2 to 1 guest to staff ratio, service is incredibly attentive here. Mykonos Grand is another family friendly hotel with sea view rooms, a wonderful pool, a full service salon and spa, and direct access down to a private serviced beach. The hotel has a spectacular gourmet restaurant and wine cellar. And Anax Resort, a romantic beachfront hotel with two infinity pools a wonderful restaurant and bar, and a full-service salon and spa. There's a small private beach fronting the hotel with a rocky entrance to the sea, excellent food and drinks, plus complimentary arrival and departure transfers. With its calm waters, Pisaru Beach at the south is one of the island's most popular beaches and is well protected from the wind. It's a particular favorite with families and honeymooners due to its relaxed atmosphere and powdery white sand. There are a few beach clubs covering much of the beach, with a couple of good restaurants and a small mall-like plaza with high-end shopping. The best hotels at Pisaru Beach include Mykonos Blue, which is one of the most romantic hotels on Mykonos, and a great honeymoon pick, equal parts charming and trendy. It's also an easy walk to Platis Yalos Beach. The hotel's free shuttle service gets you to Mykonos Town in less than 10 minutes. Kensho Pisaru is a posh boutique hotel right on the beach with a private dock. The hotel's gorgeous pool, bar, spa, and restaurant are all just steps from the sand. Elia Beach is a long, white, sandy beach on the south coast of Mykonos. There's only one restaurant here, Elia Mykonos, right on the sand. It's a good place for seafood with an attached bar serving beers and cocktails. The restaurant rents out beach chairs, but while the beach gets busy with sun worshippers, it has a much more relaxed vibe to it than most other South Coast beaches. There are also water sports rentals available at Elia. A short scramble along the rocks from the west end of the beach takes you to the small, pretty Agrari beach in a sheltered bay. Elia Beach is home to a handful of excellent hotels, including Myconian Collection Hotel, an ultra-luxury, family-friendly suites and villas property overlooking Elia Beach. The hotel provides free shuttles to Elia Beach just down the hill to their complimentary beach beds, plus babysitting services and access to the facilities and dining of all other Mykonos Collection properties on this beach and the rest of the island. Grecophilia is an upscale suite and villa hotel perched above Elia Beach with stunning sunset sea views, an infinity pool, and an organic spa. Dining is fantastic, with many ingredients grown on-site or caught daily by the hotel's personal fishermen. Ayos Stefanos is the beach nearest to the new port at Turlos, about two and a half kilometers from the old port, and about three kilometers from the heart of Mykonos town. It's a small, sandy beach with a handful of restaurants and beach clubs, including the amazing Limnios Tavern on the hill overlooking the sea and offering gorgeous sunset views and flavorful Greek comfort foods. This is not the most beautiful beach in Mykonos, but it is great for swimming, protected from the winds, and popular with locals. The area is easily accessible and well-connected by buses to and from Mykonos town. The best hotels in this beach are Grace, which is a lovely property with a sea view pool, tranquil spa, and an all-day restaurant and bar. The hotel offers complimentary shuttle service to Mykonos Town. Destino Pacha, an upscale adults-only hotel offering two pools and an outstanding wellness center. There's a stunning restaurant that sits poolside, offering casual, all-day dining and upscale Greek gastronomy in the evenings. And Roca Bella, a young, trending, luxury hotel with a glass front infinity pool, a decadent spa, and sea view rooms and suites. Food and drinks are always extraordinary here, and their excellent culinary program offers wine tasting, cooking classes, island picnics, and private dining. Exclusive villas dot the hillside above the sheltered cove of Super Paradise Beach, accessible via a steep, narrow access road. Super Paradise is dominated by its namesake beach bar and club, 
During summer peak season, beach parties kick off in the afternoons and continue until the wee hours of the morning. Nightly international DJ sets are part of the experience. Multi-storied Jackie O Beach Club at the other end of the beach is also popular, with a large beachfront, a huge pool deck, an excellent restaurant, and sunset drag queen shows. Hourly shuttle buses from Mykonos Town during high season run late into the night, while boat taxis serve the beach during the day. At Super Paradise, we recommend Leo Boutique Hotel, an adults-only boutique hideaway with a stunning pool and really excellent restaurant on a hill overlooking the beach, a 10-minute walk away. Their all-day restaurant is among the very best on the island, so make dinner reservations in advance. Leo is one of the more remote hotels on the island. An equally big draw for revelers, Paradise Beach, also in the south, has three famous clubs to choose from. Tropicana, with a hugely popular beach bar surrounded by mounds of empty Dom Perignon bottles. Cavo Paradiso, a nightclub five minutes walk away on a headland overlooking the waves. And Paradise, with multiple dance floors and a huge pool. All attract big-name international DJs, and the parties go on till dawn. Though it's a popular party beach, there are a few hotels in the Paradise Beach area. Calo Levadi is a long, wide sand and pebble beach with fewer visitors than other popular beaches. There are a few solid hotels, including Nomad, Euphoria Suites, Mykonos Bliss, and Igon. Our last recommended suggestion is the Panormos Beach area, which includes the beautiful Panormos Village overlooking the bay. It's a wonderful small hotel with a two-level cascading infinity pool with floating sunbeds, a great Mediterranean restaurant, and includes affordable rooms and apartments with kitchenette. There are many smaller hotels and other rental properties spread around the island, but the greatest concentrations of accommodations to choose from are in the areas previously mentioned in this video. Our top three areas we suggest staying in are Mykonos Town, Ornos Beach, or Platis Yalos Beach. Check out our Mykonos travel guide for more detailed information, including where to eat, what to do, ferry port information, the best beaches and beach clubs, and alternative activities. We've also got lots of other great travel guides to Greece and beyond at SantoriniDave.com and across this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com.